In this episode, we're going to be taking a closer look into the Fundu Pro app and what it can do for your smartwatch. Do not go anywhere. Want to keep up to date with all things tech? Of course you do! Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Hello to you and welcome to MMB Tech TV, where we like to help you find affordable products faster. Now, in this episode, we are going to be taking a close look into a subject which a few people have been messaging us about. Now, if you have already subscribed, you would have known that we've covered a few ranges of different smartwatches, predominantly a lot of them being the IWO range. So from the IWO 11 there, uh, the IWO... Uh, the IDW 11, I think that one is. Uh, and then the recent one as well, which we've been reviewing on the channel. And of course, we'll put links to the reviews of these down in the description or in the cards above. So just have a look, go and check them out. But a few people have been saying that they have been having issues pairing these to the Fundu Pro app, which is the partner app that enables it all for you to track your fitness, sleeping patterns, uh, and all the other bits of kind of analytics that you want from a health and fitness tracker. So what we're gonna do in this session is jump straight in and just take you through the simple guides step by step on how you can connect either your IWS ranges or it even applies to other smartwatches which we've done on the channel as well like the Kingwear KW18 smartwatch so it's the whole of the same process to this so um, it is the same process on iOS as well we've tested that on an iPad and it works absolutely fine so um, all you need for this one is the watch in question and then have your smartphone ready to go so let's jump in and let's show you how to install the Fundu Pro app so, as we mentioned, we've got the watches here in question, but today we're going to be concentrating on the IWO, um, IWO 12 smartwatch, the, which is my daily one. This is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and I've got the uh, the Samsung device ready to go here. So, uh, you would need to make sure you've got, you've got a Play account, a Play Store account, in which most of us generally have um, if you're a Samsung user or an Android user in general. So, from there, what you need to do is, using your smartphone, head over to the Play Store. Once you're greeted by that, now you can either search for it this way or I will put a link to it direct uh, straight in the description uh, or you can just click on that and it'll take you straight through to it so but if you're going through the uh, if you're going through the Google Play Store at the top there you've got search for apps and games simply tap in there and pop in Fundu Pro and search so you'll be automatically be greeted by the top one it's the one that looks like this with this logo on it there Fundu Pro uh, simply tap install So once it's been installed, what you need to do is make sure that the watch in question is right next to you. So I've got the watch just here. I'm going to remove the other ones out of the question. I've got my device just there. So let's make sure it's powered on. So power it on first of all. I'm going to let that just boot up. That generally, the IWL 12 only takes a few seconds to boot up anyway. And there we are, we're in. So let's head over to the Fundu Pro app. As always with a new app, it'll ask you for terms and conditions, um, it'll ask you to authorization to do stuff. So we're gonna simply follow those steps through. So here uh, you'll get, please read carefully all their privacy. If you've got time, read it, but most of us are human and we don't read it. So we just press agree. Uh, and there's your boot up screen there and it'll take you through to another selection of menus. So from here it says, allow Fundu to make and manage calls. Let's press allow that's what we want it to do allow Fundy to access photos media files on your device yes you do let's hit allow allow Fundy to access, uh, access your contact so if you want to use your smartwatch to uh, start the call off then you would press yes so let's do allow allow Fundu to access this device's location so if you're using the IWO 12 um, and you're doing or you're running it uses your GPS signal to track all your movements and stuff so in this case I'm gonna say yes so we hit allow so at this point then, it asks you then to please open the permissions on the suspension frame. So if you're an Android user, it's now gonna bring up a few options where you just need to give the Fundu Pro app permission to do so. So here, we're just gonna press OK. And it's gonna bring a list of them up. So all you need to do is simply scroll through and just find, there it is there, Fundu Pro. I'm gonna tap that. Once you've done that, just simply go back and press OK then it's gonna ask you for the same again. So it's gonna ask for notification access this time. Fundu's there, let's tap that across. And let's allow, because we want those notifications from your device to go over to your smartwatch. So we've done that, let's go back. Now you've done that, 
really simple step so far and it takes you then to the main screen and this is where your main screen where all your bank of information is going to be sent from your device so if you track your steps if you track your fitness you know your um, BP you can measure on this watch as well all that information calories burn anything that you need to know about a fitness regime or you want to monitor will get carried over in this platform just here me personally I monitor my sleep patterns because I'm not very good at sleeping whether that's because I've got two children or not um, but I do like to track my sleep there and my steps as well I always like to kind of give myself a bit of a target so in order for all that information to carry across we need to pair the watches together so for this it is really simple where it says more just tap on that then you'll get a list of kind of find your device unit settings stuff that you can when you've got time go in and have a look but in this case we need to add our device to it so we've got add device let's tap it there ensure that your bluetooth is switched on so in this case i'm going to swipe down bluetooth on let's uh, come out of that for a sec and so let's add a device so we want we're going to allow that we're going to allow Fundu to send and view messages because I want to be able to read the messages off the watch. And now it's going to try and find the watch in question. And then always a keynote as well. Always make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on on your watch as well. Otherwise, it's not going to work, is it? So as you can see, you've got the, both of the Bluetooth are on. You can see it's picked it up. Watch 5 there. Tap. It'll connect through to your watch. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all being well. And that's the first part of the watch connected. So, so far now, these two are connected, but in order for some of those other features to happen, you are gonna need to make sure that they're actually paired together via Bluetooth actually on your device. So I know on the app now, this is all paired together, but we need to get them devices speaking to each other. So for this, I would highly recommend then switching over to your watch. So I'm gonna go over this way. And we're going to search for a new device. So as you can see, I've searched for the device. It says it there, Galaxy S6, which is this one. So let's simply tap on that. And a, like a normal Bluetooth thing, it'll send that pairing request over. There it is. I'm going to hit OK. It's connecting. And there you go. So we're going to always allow, you will get things like this, but because it's going to be something that's sending information from your smartwatch, uh, sorry, from your smartphone to your watch, always allow it. So I'm allowing all that information and logs and information to be passed to and from each other. And that is just literally how simple it is. All that process together will hopefully uh, ensure that your smartwatch and your phone are working correctly together. So I would highly recommend with the Fundu Pro app, it has got a bunch of features um, that will get the most out of tracking your fitness health and all that kind of good stuff where you can literally the usability of it and the you know the kind of from my point of view swiping through there's your sleep patterns swipe through that's where it's going to record all your heart rate monitors your bp sport co2 um you've literally got all the information you will need your walking best records you can set the records there and it will show you when you've recorded them and it'll show it in a grid form uh, you can go into analytics where it'll show your average number of steps this is actually paired up there you go it's just taking it from the information that was um, come from the watch in this section here where you click me and uh, this is where you can go into then putting about uh, your weight your height so you can get a bit of an average about you um, and it'll give you all the information you need so it's really really as simple as that so it's got loads of information there for you if you're into your fitness and you want to track everything i'd highly recommend it give it a few minutes and go and have a look um, but it's as simple as that so just remember open the fundu app pair with your watch ensure bluetooth's on on the watch as well and then once it's paired that way through the app then jump over to your watch and then pair it to the device via your normal bluetooth connection like you would on a set of headphones or any other sort of bluetooth device um, and it'll work absolutely fine so uh, make sure you go and check it out and hopefully that has managed to help you out now if you still find that you're having a few issues uh, please do let me know either get your comments in the box below because we always love to hear from you um, or you can either contact us on any of the social media platforms where we're over on Facebook we're on Twitter Instagram or you can check us out on the brand new website as well at mnbtechtv.co.uk go and head over there now coming up in the next uh, in the next couple of videos we have got our hands on some Samsung Galaxy Bud clones, which are phenomenal. Uh, they are really, really good quality. So that is coming up. Uh, and of course, we have found um, the next best thing to the Samsung 
Active Watch 2. So if you want an Active Watch 2, but you don't want to pay the, uh, pay the massive price tag, then make sure you subscribe as well and hit the notification bell because that will be coming up as well. And we're going to be giving one away. So the details will be here on the channel and also over on our website as well. So go and check it out. Uh, we've still got merchandise as well. If you want to pick up some of our merchandise, you can go over to the website as well. That's at mmbtechtv.co.uk. Go and check it out on there. Go and have a look, see what you think. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us and we will see you next time. It's bye-bye for now.